And you know, they always say never judge a book by its cover, but I just mm. think that the cover of your book is so fire. And <laughs> it, you know, like the, the Benjamin Franklin, like that's kind of, if you're in the know, that's really highlighting um, mm -hmm. the banking system as a central focus in your book. Yeah, it's always uh, difficult to know how your book will impact people. Um, so, you know, after I wrote Thank God for Bitcoin, I was extremely surprised when Safety in a Moose, a uh, practicing Muslim, um, asked me for a copy. I was like, I had no idea you would be in that audience. Um, but, uh, you know, and other people that were atheist or Jewish or whatever, they, they wanted a copy of the book. Why? why? Well, they, they wanted to know the moral argument and so on. So did not write it for them at all, but somehow it ended up in their hands. So um, it's hard to tell exactly where it will go. Here's where I hope it will go. I hope it will influence Bitcoiners to understand that fiat is really evil get them um, stronger diamond hands, I guess, and not like sort of despairing when you enter into um, bear markets like we're in now um, and help them to really articulate the argument uh, that a lot of the societal ills that we have are because of fiat money. And hopefully if they can make that case to a lot of their friends and family, maybe you can get them on that arc. I don't know. That, that's, that's, that's the hope I have for this book. <laughs>